give a fuck about the way. I don't care about procedure. I came here to talk to Snow about this. No, screw that. My sister's dead, and I don't give a shit who she oh, looked like damn. when it happened. It's not about her. It's about Lily. Just tell us who it was. Oh, fuck. Okay, everyone, just stop. Bigby and I are going to have a little chat while everyone else gets back to the funeral. What? I'm not just gonna sit here Please, and- Please, I promise I will tell you what the hell is going on just as soon as I know there's something to tell, but just let us do our jobs <laughs> first. Look, Holly, I know how this must- No, you don't know how this must feel. You have no idea. Don't fuck anything up. Don't bother anybody. And when the first sign of trouble comes, and it will come because you're a goddamn walking trap for it, I want you the fuck out of here. I just want to get Lily's killer, Holly. Nothing more. Let's just continue, okay? This is such total fucking bullshit. Let's go, Holly. It's your turn to talk. Okay, you think you know who the killer is. What have you got? Pigby? Lily was Crane's prostitute. I followed a lead to this shithole motel, the Open Arms. Crane had a room there, and he's been taking prostitutes, or at the very least Lily, and making her look like you while he was, you know. This is... I don't even know what to say right now. I really don't. I'm just trying everything I can right now to not picture it. I'm sorry, Snow. And I'm sorry I had to be the one to tell you. You're sure this is what happened? This is what he's been doing? Because please, Bigby, don't confuse things. I know I was told not to, but I think this is the only way for Snow to really grasp the situation. You took a cab here, right? Yeah. I'll drive. Snow? Narissa? What is it? I'm sorry, but Holly's asking for you. Are they starting the burn? Yes. Everyone who spoke should really be present for this part. She's kind of distraught. You're not leaving yet, are you? Two minutes. I don't mean to be... Um... No, I understand. No, I get it. Take your time. It won't take long. How'd it go? At the motel? Did you find anything? I, uh, I did. It helped a lot. Thanks. Nerissa! Yeah, uh, coming! Oh, great. Constable? Oh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh -oh. Easy now, girl. You know how this goes. The first thing in a visit, you say, how do you do? What are you doing here? That is the question, isn't it? Or at least a question. I'm still hurting, you know, from our talk in the cell. And I'll be honest, I'd love nothing more than to carve a sweet poem right into your face for the suffering you've caused me. But I am a professional, and we're here for a job. We'll hmm. snip to the chase for all sakes. A little bird told us that you're fit to go after Crane. And you see, we have an interest in that particular boy. So you leave Crane alone, and we'll leave you alone. Just take a little vacation is all. Are you working for Crane? Did he send you? No. See now, you're already asking too many questions. Just pay attention. Yeah. They're his little... So what's it gonna be? We have a deal? You leave Crane alone, and we leave you to yours? Brother? You think this act you got going scares me? Cause it doesn't. Always wanting to do things the fun way. Ladies, gentlemen, invertebrates, please, rest easy. This is not... What the hell is going on? What's happening? Very sorry to impose, but we only had a deal to work out with Bigby. 
And we're unhappy to report that things did not go as smoothly as planned. Oh, Bigby, dear. what is he talking about? Never you mind that. It ain't any of your... What deal? They want me to leave Crane alone. Crane? Oh, now you shouldn't have done that, old boy. Really. Uh-oh. That wasn't right, telling everyone our dealings. What did I tell you? What did I say? Ali? You think you motherfuckers could come here uninvited? You think you could just fucking interrupt Lily's funeral? Calm down, darling. It was just a simple business transaction. You fucking freaks are not getting away with this. Ali, let me handle this. Yeah, let's spare all the fuss. It's just a dead hole. I'm gonna kill you! Oh boy! Oh shit. Oh. I fucked up. Maybe. Uh. Well. Um. <laughs> Maybe I've made some bad choices, but I also couldn't really tell where my mouse was going. So, wow, I think I just killed Grin and Holly and let Tweedledum and Tweedledee escape. Fucking fantastic. Alright, um, I'm actually going to cut this bit here, episode here for you guys, and I will see you guys in the next episode. Ta-ta! Hello everybody, this is Austin here. Welcome back to my Let's Play challenge of The Wolf Among Us. Uh, we last left off where we found Ichabod Crane was the one behind the murder of Lily um, and has a creepy Snow White fetish. Uh, and Crane, uh, from what we could tell, has already found out we are aware of this fact. And now it's time to see what's going to happen as a result. So. Let's start episode three and see where this game takes us. Our stories used to be so simple. We had a beginning, a middle, and an end. But ever since we moved to this awful city, everything's gotten so confused. Look, I didn't kill anyone. I'm supposed to just believe you. Snow. I just want you to be careful. I almost lost you once and... I'm not yours to lose. I'm not going to be an errand girl for Crane anymore. She looks like Holly. It's not Holly. It's her sister Lily. She was looking to pay down debt. Eventually, the only people she owed were at her work. You know, that shithole club, the pudding and pie. My name is Nerissa. Well, Nerissa, I've got some questions. Yeah, it's gonna be fun editing later. The Boobies. open arms. Oh my god! What is it? <gasps> it's... Crane. Creepy old fart. So, yeah. You just hear the world slowing down in his head. That motherfucking piece of shit! Crane? Ugh, God, you think you'd know a person. Bigby, you have to tell her. I know! What's going on? What did you find up there? Crane's the killer. What? Ichabod Crane? How do you know? Shit! Crane's been... Ugh. Bigby, calm down. 
Everything's going to be fine, okay? It's going to be fine. That perverted little fucker might be after Snow. I need to find her right now. Okay, it's it's going to be okay. Where did you see her last? Mm. Did she say where she was going? She took Holly to the business office to prepare for the funeral. Lily's funeral? Yeah. How do you know? I was just at the trip trap, and I heard Gren telling some folks about a funeral at the Buckingham the Bridge. Trip trap? Are you drinking? When? Right now. They were on their way out. Big B. Wait. <laughs> Calm what? down. Snow's. <sighs> Snow's been through a lot. There are things she doesn't talk about. Just. Please be careful. What are you trying to say? You know how you felt when you saw that picture? Well, it's going to be much worse for her. Just remember that. Okay. Uh, it's so obvious he has a thing for her. So I guess that's the end of chapter one. My frame rate always tanks when it's loading. when it's loading it's also trying to save at the same time stupid game moments are just so pointless you were part of a very special circle people she trusted and cared for I won't um, offend you by claiming one day that that the pain of losing Lily will ever subside I know as well as you that it, it will never subside but I also know that that the memory of Lily Will sustain as well and it will in time equal in strength to our mourning her loss and it is in that I'll spirit miss that i'd like to talk you. about i'll miss our all fights so grateful to share i'll miss you your memory of her how she could be stubborn and patient rash and thoughtful now you will never she die carried a from torch for the old ways or lead a for tedious a life for, um, goodbye sweetheart pageantry. thanks for everything and most of all Vivian. It seems how Lily loved, dearly loved her friends and family. She loved being around. You were around a big, bright, shining star in this shit never all met of Lily, a town. But from and I miss you already. Told, big fat thumbs right. in the way. In my heart, that she would have liked to be here tonight. And now we'll have our um, moment of silence. Thank you. Uh, Billy Goat. Now is the time to back away. Bigby, is everything okay? No, not you. Holly, it's- He wasn't fucking invited. Holly, wait. He has no right to be here. Not after what he did. Holly, I'm sorry, but I had to come. You throw my sister down the witching well, and you have the nerve to show your face here. I don't throw her after down the well. After you lie, after you promise me. Holly, wait. That was Crane. Just Crane. He disposed of Lily's body before Big B could do anything about it. I'm telling you the truth. Don't cover for him. But this genuinely wasn't his fault. You can't tell me Big B gives a shit about this. Crane's a fucking prick, so this doesn't surprise me. Hey, what do you know? We actually agree <laughs> on something. Bigby cares, Holly. He's trying to help. And I'm sure he has a very good reason for being here. But this one isn't on him. Why are you here, anyway? And don't say it's because you care about this. Everything okay? Yep. I think I know who murdered your sister. Who? Maybe we should talk about this somewhere else? What? No, I deserve to know. 
I know, I I know, but this isn't the way to go about this. I don't